Jones. Hello everyone, my name is Yana Conti Jones and I'm a junior at Phelps Ace High School. I'm a part of the organization Community Enrichment Project's Triple E program where DC Youth focuses on local issues. I'm here today to ask DCPS to provide adequate support for appropriate student disciplinary actions. Me and other DCPS students and families have recognized a lack of fair and just disciplinary procedures. This issue is important to me because I and other students have witnessed multiple fights being broken up by students while security was available during these unsettling situations. Our very own security officers conspiring against students with other students and teachers being aware of heated student arguments and blatantly ignoring them. Many of these students who get into these altercations have already been in multiple fights which disturb the learning environment. However, despite their behavior, the students do not seem to receive proper consequences and help, but they continue to rejoin the DCPS community. I believe this is unfair to students, including those who are causing the disruptions, teachers and school staff. This is an important issue and we need to consider how this affects us as students and the education we are trying to get every day. I believe this issue can be fixed by listening to the suggestions of DCPS students. For example, me and other students have been sharing our thoughts on DCPS issues on our social media account at Triple E Project on Instagram and TikTok. We believe students are the best people to talk to about these things because we know we see and know everything that happens in our schools. Two specific suggestions we have are related to DCPS programs and programs provided outside by outside organizations of DCPS. The FY21 DC budget included funding for a 13 member social emotional learning and school culture team that would support schools with student discipline in fair ways. We would like to request these services be these supports be provided to all schools. Some students who are causing disruptions truly need this. Additionally, OST programs like the Community Enrichment Project have limited budgets and operate in various schools. It would be near impossible for them to continue to support these students if DCPS does not reverse its decision to no longer cover security costs for the free after-school programming it provides to students. Chancellor, Chancellor Faraby has said that many after school programs will have to cover the cost of security starting next school year at an average of rate of $45 per hour. The cost for security coverage could easily amount to over $30,000 a school year. We hope this can be avoided for the sake of students and the school CEP operates in. Thank you for taking the time to hear my testimony today.